Hello everyone. Today in our subject architectural building construction 2 we shall study about the doors. In this topic we shall study the definition of a door, the functions of a door in a building, some rule for locating a door and the components of a door. Doors may be defined as an open openable barrier secured in a wall opening. It is provided to give an access to the inside of a room. The various functions of a door are they admit ventilation and light, controls the physical atmosphere within a space by enclosing it, excluding air drafts so that interiors may be more effectively heated or cooled. They act as barriers to noise. Used to screen areas of a building for aesthetic purposes. keeping formal and utility areas separate security fire resistance thermal and sound insulation privacy and durability the thumb rules for locating a door are the number of doors in a building should be kept as minimum it should meet the functional requirements it should preferably be located at the corner of a room nearly 20 cm from the corner if in a room more than two doors are there they shall be located facing each other the number of doors in a room should be kept minimum to achieve optimum utilization of space large number of doors besides causing obstruction consume more area in circulation the various components of a door are the door frame and the door shutter the door frame is an assembly of horizontal and vertical members forming an enclosure to which the shutters are fixed the shutters are openable parts of a door or a window the technical terms in a door frame are the head this is the top or the uppermost horizontal part of a frame the horn these are the horizontal projections of a frame the rebate it is the de depression or recess made inside the door frame to receive the door shutter the components of a door can be seen clearly in this image where we can see the door shutter with its top rail the glass panel the lock style the lock rail the panels the mullions and the bottom rail the door shutter is hinged with the help of hinges to the door frame the hinge style the jam of the door frame and the casing and the threshold now i would like to ask a question to you what are the important considerations for designing a door Take a pause for a minute or you can pause this video and think about the answer and write it in your journal. The design of the door should meet the functional performance and security requirement for any type of door. The door di dimensions that are usually used are For residential buildings, the external door size, one meter by two point one meters to one point two meters by two point one meters in height. The internal door should be point nine meters wide and two point meters one in height to one point zero meters by two point one meters. Bathroom door or WC doors should be minimum point seven five by two point one meters. to 0.8 by 2.1 meters the garages for cars should have the opening of 2.25 by 2.25 meters to 2.40 by 2.25 meters for public buildings the door opening should be 1.2 by 2.1 meters or 1.5 by 2.1 meters or 1.2 by 2.25 meters thank you